Some of the most popular parks in Manhattan have buried secrets. Washington Square Park is loved by locals and tourists alike. But these paving stones hold a secret. If we could pull them up, what would we find? At the northwest corner of the park is a very large tree. At over 300 years old, it is believed to be the oldest tree in Manhattan, Hangman's Elm. Hangman's Elm is, is an interesting story, and unfortunately, it's probably all myth. <laughs> it's a huge tree with a wonderful limb that goes straight out, which is perfect for lynchings. While there are no recorded hangings here, they did take place at a cemetery nearby. A little girl named Rose who had committed arson. She was the last person to be executed in Washington Square in July 1819, but she was executed on the southwest corner. But Hangman's Elm isn't the only thing creepy about Washington Square Park. By 1850, by the middle of the century, Washington Square was ringed with fabulous mansions. In 1890, when they were building the um, foundations for the Washington Square Arch, they started unearthing bones and bones and bones. Bones? Before it was Washington Square Park, starting in 1790, it was a potter's field. Uh, it's where people who died in the poorhouse and the workhouse, or people who simply died in their homes, who had no means to uh, be buried in a cemetery, were, were buried at city expense. There's a cemetery beneath Washington Square. But that's only the beginning. So in 1822, the worst yellow fever e epidemic hit. They would bury as many as three deep in wooden boxes in trenches and then just cover the trenches in pretty much unmarked graves. How many New Yorkers are buried here? There are an estimated 20,000 bodies buried underneath Washington Square Park. 20,000 dead bodies beneath our feet. But are they still there? They never move the bodies, they're still there. <laughs>